Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Thy kingdom comes. Tell him, Father, I've come tonight for an encounter. I didn't come to waste my time. The Bible says he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain.
I like for your heart to be prepared for what God is doing. I like for your heart to be prepared because like my brother rightly said God is going there is a carriage of the spirit the Bible says and Elijah stood and told Elisha I'm about to go and the Bible says he looked up and saw a chariot that came to take him to another realm and Elisha said my father my father the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof we trust the Lord that there is a carriage of the spirit that will take us into a new plane and a new dimension, a realm of intimacy that this earth cannot contain you again. Oh, take us to realms of the glory. There is a mandate upon our generation. and say Lord this is me I have not come to join the crowd tonight Genesis chapter 28. Lord, as in the days of old, cause men to know your glory, cause men to see new dimensions, new realms, levels, and spheres in the spirit. 
Paul said, I know a man who was caught up to heaven, whether in the body or not in the body, I do not know, but he had things that are not permitted to be spoken in this realm. There is a realm of the glory. There is a path that our fathers walked in. The Bible says there is a path where the lion has not walked. And there is a place where the eyes of the vulture has not seen. A man of God calls it impossible places. That is where we are taking a journey in the spirit. To explore the riches. Sheba and went towards Haran and he came to a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set meaning he was tired he was weary and the Bible says and he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillow and lay down in that place to sleep 12 and he dreamed and behold a ladder was set up on the earth and the top of it reached the heavens and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am I am I am he didn't say I was he didn't say I will be he stood at the top of it and he said I am I am. I am. I am. Hear me, friends. In every generation, God leaves a remnant. God sections out a people who will pursue Him. Great men like Tom Tenney call them God chasers. And God begins to search for men and women to seek him so that he will reveal dimensions and facets of himself because he said I am I am whatever you can think I am I am above your imagination but I can reveal myself to you in fragments and pieces when you seek me you will find me and the Bible makes us to understand that Jacob had an encounter and first of all he saw angels the portals were opened up to him and the Bible says standing at the very top of his was Yahweh himself and he said I am he didn't try to hear God he was standing face to face with his maker and he said I am in Exodus 33 the Bible tells us how that Moses entered a cloud and the glory of God came and built a tabernacle in front of him and the Bible says God spoke Moses spoke with God face to face hear me friends there is a realm of encounter beyond the average Christian life there is a realm of intimacy there is a dimension of koinonia in the spirit great men when you study through church history and revivals, you see great men and women who touched certain realities. The Bible says, uh, uh, Peter speaking, I believe, he said, I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. There is a level of encounter that brings a persuasion. You are not trying to guess. Hallelujah. And it has pleased the Lord that in this time and in this season, 
that he will find the people who are saying lord i have been anointed i've healed the sick before lord i'm a great man there are dimensions i have touched but something inside of me tells me there is more something inside of me tells me there is a higher dimension greater than ministry greater than just healing the sick greater than just doing these average things that we glory about jesus said you will see greater things than this he said verily verily i say unto you you will see the heavens open and you will see the son of man the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man be seated god bless you Koinonia is not just a meeting that was put together just to gather people and to talk and to make noise. No. Koinonia is a prophetic agenda. Hallelujah. The system of God is such that when God wants to lure you, he uses hunger to lure men into his presence. The Bible says that God has put eternity in the heart of man. And so every time you have accomplished things and and made certain levels of progress in the spirit the eternity dimension of god has a way of swallowing you up so that it brings you to that point of real hunger koinonia is not a meeting for everyone friends it's a meeting for as many who can say lord i know that there is more great women like Catherine Kuhlman walked in levels of intimacy with the holy spirit they were willing to trade their lives if they would spend five minutes without him the apostles of old shook their generations not because of a hearsay they had a real encounter with a real god that produced real results the error in our generation today and the 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 ambiguity that surrounds the things of god is a direct indication that there is a level of intimacy we are yet to come in hallelujah and i trust god that the lord will bring us into levels of intimacy levels of real experiences with him hear me friends there are certain levels of walk with God and intimacy where great men like Enoch walked the Bible says and Enoch walked with God and he was not he walked in such a level of proximity with God that this earth could not hold his body I cannot tell you how many times I cry in my spirit when I see the average life of a believer I tell you the truth almost 80 to 90 percent of believers really do not know the holy spirit it's obvious and so many people cannot manifest the character of the kingdom because we do not understand we do not know who the holy spirit is how come we came from a realm that is now so foreign to us how come the reality of the person of the holy spirit even those of us who call ourselves men of God compared to the standard of God are only toddlers in the things of the Spirit. And tonight I invite you into an experience. Koinonia is not a meeting, it's an experience. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 14, Paul speaking to the Corinthian church said, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the koinonia of the Spirit the word koinonia is a greek word that means intimacy through communion intercourse participation sharing together fellowship and that's what god has called us into he has not called us into religion he has called us into oneness participation partnership a level of intimacy where we interact so much with him that we become like him and it is the overflow our lives become a reflection of where we have been everyone knows that we are products of our environment when i look at your life i can tell you where you have spent most of your time because that has that's what has built your mindset and so when we dwell in his presence there is an interaction between humanity and divinity there is a rub off of his glory and his nature his life and his character 
that comes upon you so that when you stand out indeed you can you can be an ambassador you cannot be an ambassador of a government and a king that you do not know hallelujah and so koinonia is a place of encounter the bible says that jacob had an encounter koinonia is not just a meeting that was put for all of us to just get excited and come and watch the new things the holy ghost is doing it's a meeting for as many who will hunger there are many of you that have cried in the secret place and said god there is more i know that there's got to be more young and old there are many of us here that have desired god and said lord i know that there are depths and there are dimensions many of us have had bits and pieces of experiences many of us have seen jesus a few of us have been caught up to heaven or certain realms in the spirit but this is a higher dimension of intimacy hear me friends the greatest revival that is about to come i've been saying this thing for years our fathers prophesied it and they died without seeing it but they left a prophecy on earth as they went to heaven they said a revival will come greater than the Phoenix revival greater than the Azusa street revival and what an honor to be alive at this point because the spirit of god is training and building men and women with whom he will trust the life the power the character the grace of the spirit so that they can be ambassadors friends i welcome you to koinonia the place of intimacy the place of participation where you will be groomed and trained in the things of the spirit that your eyes will be open to see him as he is and then you can be able to sing like isaiah sang the train of his robe fill the temple a crowd of heavenly worshipers surrounding his throne and we join with them now crying holy holy is the lamb the lamb of god i see kingdom but the bible says in the year that king Uzziah died i isaiah saw the lord and he saw a dimension of glory he never believed existed now you must realize that he was a prophet and so spiritual encounters were not strange things but he saw a new wave and a new dimension like many of you will be seen let me tell you something many of you will live in certain realities that you never dreamt were possible There are dimensions of God that when you encounter the issue of pride and arrogance will not be there again. You are not trying to be humble. The imprint of that encounter leaves a mark in your life forever. Mm. Hallelujah. How many of us truly desire intimacy with the Holy Spirit? Friends, I am convinced that intimacy with the Holy Spirit should be the number one pursuit of every believer. I am absolutely convinced. Did you know, friends, that all the things we are trying to look for can be found in the secret place? The place of intimacy is where you can get anything. Believe me, anything. It's amazing how Satan has distracted us. We run around trying to do many things. And the solution is there 
in his presence no wonder moses said do not let us leave here without your presence if your presence go not with us we will not depart from here the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your holy spirit from me i don't know what my life will be without the holy spirit indeed i know what it means to be a dead man without the holy spirit he's my life he's my friend he's my god and i trust that the lord will introduce us to realms where we will hear his voice where we will walk in his path where we will live his life when you are intimate with the holy spirit the world will know they cannot deny it there is an imprint that the intercourse of his presence brings and you will shock your world with insight and wisdom and illumination that does not belong to this realm jesus said my kingdom is not of this world to hear your voice once again to see your face that's our desire once again to know your ways once again to live your life once again can you tell him Lord once again I cannot I cannot begin to pour out my heart to you friends how much that the Lord wants us to enter realms of intimacy I was sleeping yesterday night and I had an encounter while sleeping and in the sleep someone walked up to me and he said son you are about to start a move and bring many to realms of intimacy and he said look up and I looked and the sky was it was as though it was red and clouds sounds everywhere and I said Lord what is this and he said it's the rain of the revival but it will be for men and women who know my presence it was a very deep encounter it left a mark in my spirit I just woke up quiet and silent and God said I will show men things that they did not realize can be seen there are realms there are dimensions but until you touch those realities in the spirit you will struggle in your christian work until you touch those realms in the spirit all of these things we are saying will be strange i trust that many of us will come into an encounter where you will see jesus stand before you and hold your hands and say i am your maker i want to lead you and describe to you the purpose of your life the bible says blessed is she that believes koinonia is the place of possibilities there is no impossibility with god my life has changed today not because i love god so much but he gave me an encounter that left a mark in my spirit when jesus stood before me and i saw him i saw him as he is i know he's alive not because i read it in the bible i have seen him i've had koinonia a light came out from him and entered into my spirit and it has left a mark in my life friends there is a place of encounter greater than the realms of the anointing when you touch those realms you will not look for the anointing again it will become the natural overflow of that experience hallelujah so the Lord is bringing us to realms of intimacy 
great men are product of incredible encounters spiritual encounters that can set them on fire encounters that can bring them to points of intimacy and that's what the Holy Ghost wants to give us quickly I want to tell you the things that we are going to be doing in Koinonia number one Koinonia is an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost one of the things that the Lord is going to be doing through this meeting is to bring everyone individually and corporately into a point where you can say I know the Holy Spirit I know him he's my friend where the realities of the spirit that every time you carry the Bible to read it it will become your experience not just something about some people that you read but it will be a living experience that's what God wants to bring into our lives so koinonia is a place of experience there are three things that will happen to you the first thing is you will be with him koinonia sets the platform for intimacy even in worship as we open up ourselves in worship and open up ourselves to the atmosphere of heaven there is an intercourse there is a oneness there is a participation that the holy ghost brings into our lives the second thing that god is going to be doing in our lives is the revelation of his word the revelation of his principles hear me friends jesus said thy kingdom come matthew chapter 6 it says thy will be done that means when we understand his will and his principles then his kingdom can come hallelujah and so god is going to be teaching us the principles the principles of the spirit hear me we are all products listen please we are all products of our environments our mindset is the sum total of all the orientation we've had from our experiences and from our environments and our mindset is so important and so there is an alignment that the holy ghost is going to be bringing even through koinonia bringing us to a point of kingdom alignment a man of god calls it a recalibration our minds will be tilted so that we begin to perceive realities from God's standpoint. It's called the mind of Christ. Philippians chapter 5, chapter 2 from verse 5. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. In other words, permit this mind to be manifest in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. There is a standpoint that we must see reality the world has taught believers to respond to things and when we come into koinonia the place of intimacy one of the things that the lord does is to reorient us and give us the mindset of kingdom citizens the bible says you will not call conspiracy what they call conspiracy it says when men say there is a casting down you will say there is a lifting up hallelujah a redefinition of situations and circumstances when men are swallowed up by certain things like job he will say though he slay me yet will i praise him he said i know that my redeemer lived. there is a mindset that is given to you the mindset of a citizen that is of the kingdom and so you don't just praise and worship him because of results or car or money or all of these things you come to a point where you praise him truly and you worship him for who he is it's the mindset of the kingdom you come to a point where you are trained to see the unseen the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal subject to change but the things that are unseen are eternal god brings our eyes into an alignment such that we begin to perceive realities from the standpoint of heaven and when you go home and they say things are not working you don't join the world as though you do not have a solution you come as moses who came out from the presence of god and you say i am an ambassador i represent a government by myself i can do nothing but i belong to a government that is competent and able 
and I've been vested with the ability to represent that God. There is a mindset. This is one of the greatest miracles that the Lord is going to be giving us. It's amazing how our mindsets can make or break us. When we have wrong mindsets, we interpret things from the wrong perspective. But the Lord through Koinonia will be bringing us to that point where we have the mind of Christ. Say after me, the mind of Christ. The thinking pattern of the kingdom. God will be helping us to learn to look up to him alone. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. Many of us have been trained to run after men. And so our the series of disappointments we have in our lives are endless. But the Bible says, woe unto him who puts his strength in a man. The Lord brings you to a point where you lift up your eyes and say, Lord, unto thee I lift up my soul. A point where he becomes Alpha, Omega in your life. Hallelujah. The third thing that the Lord is going to be doing is to be exposing us to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Many of us have not had the opportunity to experience the fullness of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. At best, all we have seen is just people falling on the ground. But there is more. There is so much more. To the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the teaching ministry of the Holy Spirit, the counseling ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is going to be opening us to the revelations of signs and wonders. Miracles, transformations by the power of the Spirit. Where men will come and receive a real transformation. Where sick people will come and receive real healings and deliverances. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He said, and he went about doing good and healing all, not some, they that were oppressed. Why? For God was with him. That's the secret. The mystery of his divine presence. Cheaply bringing the miraculous to his people. And the Lord is going to be exposing through Koinonia the love of the Spirit. The Bible says there abided these three. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of all is love. The greatest motivation the human spirit needs is love. Many of us have come from terrible environments when nobody believes in you. Many of us have lived in all kinds of complex. But I welcome you to a place where God loves you the way you are. I welcome you to a place where God does not say change and come. He says come as you are and I will make you. Religion can say May, make yourself and come. But God says I accept you. It doesn't matter what you have done. Men may look down at you but I know that a great one can arise from you. Who would have known that a little fisherman will become an apostle? Who would have known that a doubting Thomas will make up the twelve that will shake the world? Koinonia the experience of participation in the spirit and when God brings us through this school then he equips us to represent his government the end of all of these things is that we are with him so much that we become like him and then we can represent him your life is supposed to be a reflection of the kingdom you represent there are many believers that the only way you know they are believers is when they start praying in tongues or laying hands. If you must lay hands on somebody for the world around you to know you are a Christian, then you are not an effective Christian. The Bible says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. When you have love one for another. There is the character. Hear me friends, your character must outweigh your anointing if you want to truly reflect the life of the kingdom. That when men look at you, there is the carriage of the presence of the Spirit. That's the first thing that attracts them to you. Not just your message, not just your power, not just your anointing, not just your prosperity, but the presence of God. How many of you have been around people and when you just come out, maybe from prayer or worship, you just sit close to them and you find out that they begin to tell you about their life. You didn't ask them any question. They begin to tell you, you know things are not working. You know why? They are responding to an atmosphere that you have created. 
it's like a magnetic field they just come and sit around you and begin to talk and say look i've not shared this with anybody even my mother but i don't know why i don't know why now you know why koinonia is a product of intimacy when you spend time with the spirit you don't need to spend time before the world there is an atmosphere that you carry and i trust that the lord will be bringing us to that point hear me friends prosperity favor miracles all of those things are not the focus the presence of god is as you seek him you will suddenly turn back and see that all of these things are seeking you the presence of god that's the secret that's the good old secret friends it's been the good old secret And Solomon said he will not collect the field free of charge and the Bible says he offered a thousand bond offerings and it arose as a sweet smelling sevil and that night the Lord came and said Solomon you have touched me there is something about your worship you have done something to me he didn't send an angel he came and he said Solomon what would you have me do and then he touched his heart again he didn't ask for prosperity and power he touched something in Solomon and he gave him riches, honor, fame, blessings. Hear me friends, as we stay in the presence of God to say, Lord, I want to be prepared so that I can be used by you. There is nothing the Lord will not give you. The Lord told me something, I shared it when we were having our retreat. The Lord told me something, he said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. If you will let men see me we are coming to a point where all of our idols and the arrogance that ministry and all of these things are built will crumble friends I cannot tell you how the senior pastor of this assembly has become such an icon of humility when people look at me and say you are humble I feel they are mocking me because when you see this servant of God the humility in his life is unbelievable and that's how you know a man who has stayed in the presence humility is a product of koinonia because when you see certain dimensions of him and see how unworthy you are in yourself saved by the finished work of christ nobody will motivate you into pride it doesn't matter what they put on the posters and so god is bringing us to that point of intimacy God is bringing us to that point of knowledge friends that you found yourself here tonight means you're a participant of the revival that the Lord is bringing upon the earth and you must open up your heart and say Lord I believe I believe I believe he told Jeremiah from when you were in your mother's womb I called you and I ordained you to be a prophet Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me, whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, Three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah every yoke of academic failure whether wayek whether jam some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now i see fire 
there are many of you it's an embargo of darkness you will feel like something jumping out of your head right now i command yokes of academic failure be lifted now 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me some of you have struggled hear me some of you are christians but you have struggled with habits masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop is eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! In the name of Jesus! Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names, the Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers I pray right now I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your families are at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people kototopa at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth and he went to the tomb of lazarus and lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family i stand under this unction of god and i pray whatever is dead 
I command it right now. Let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord. Come forth now. Come forth now. Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero. No word life, no prayer life. Tonight, let a fire that not even you can quench. Fire, prayer, fire. Word fire. Take it. Take it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A hunger for the things of the Spirit. Take it, take it, take it. A hunger to study the Word. Grace to be obedient. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you. Wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you. Out of the crowd, let it distinguish you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Any member of your family that is not born again, I pray. By the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Hallelujah. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never ever be the same. You will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Inside and outside, please remain standing everybody. Many of you have come, you have heard the word of the Lord. You have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst. And I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ. The Bible says, they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore. I want to pray for you right now. You have struggled. Jesus Christ can give you rest. Both in this life and in the age to come. Some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever. Even outside this building. It's time to come to Jesus. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But you just found out that you have derailed. Many cares have taken its place. And right now you are tired. And you are saying, Lord, let this be the beginning of a new time. I want you to leave your seat. I'll just count four. Leave your seat and run out here. Inside and outside, God is speaking to you. One. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they are coming. No power can stop them. Don't wait for anybody. You are the first person. Young and old. Two. Please run out. Leave your seat and come. Keep clapping. What a harvest tonight. There are lots of people outside. God is speaking to you. Three. No matter what you have done, God can give you a new beginning. No matter what you have done, stop struggling. There are still people sitting. Keep coming, keep coming. Koinonia, keep appreciating them. Hallelujah. Now, those remaining, join us quickly. Make sure you join us quickly. Join us quickly. Don't let any devil stop you. Join us quickly. Hallelujah. 
The Bible says, For God so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son, that if you will believe in him, you will not perish, but you will have an everlasting life. I salute you for this great decision. Everyone who is truly born again made this decision. Now I want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision. Don't be emotional about it. This is not a Bible recitation. This is a genuine decision that will begin your Christian experience. Never forget this day for the rest of your life. I'd like you to shout it very loud. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner unable to help myself. But this night, I have heard your voice and I come to you. Save me. Help me. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that from today, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm born again. The spirit of God is at work in me. My sins are forgiven. I am a brand new man. Satan, I denounce you and all your works. From today, I am a child of God. Forward ever, backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Father, preserve these ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, preserve them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Let their salvation be genuine. Preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break the power of sin over your life. I break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you. In the name of Jesus, you are free. I declare you saved by the word of God. Begin a new Christian experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, congratulations. I salute you. We welcome you to the biggest family. The biggest, biggest family. It's called the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands. The ushers will direct you. who will have your information and you'll be back. Hallelujah. Please go this way. Just follow the ushers. Appreciate them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, if this is your first time, inside and outside, if this is your first time worshiping with us, please leave your seat and come out here quickly. I want to pray and prophesy over your life. Please, no matter how far you are, inside or outside, leave your seat and come. You must go with this final prophecy. All first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you. Thank you for coming. Those who invited them, may good things keep locating your life forever. In the name of Jesus. Keep clapping, Koinonia. They are coming. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. Mommy, thank you. My mommy is here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please join us quickly. If you are coming from outside, join us quickly. This is the koinonia you've heard about. Hallelujah. God is doing mighty things in our midst. We're here every Friday. This was a special venue. Our regular venue is CGC. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. Never, never be the same. God will do more than you are bargained for. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray and prophesy upon your life. And I pray that the hand of God will come mightily upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy. I speak over your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. We bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom. We bless you with grace. We bless you. We bless you. Let everything work for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Return with testimonies. You will not need to tell men you came for koinonia. An anointing will go with you. What used to be a challenge for you, you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already. The Lord will go before you and grant you rest. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you from the depths of our hearts. Keep growing in the word of God. Hallelujah. 
I'd like you to follow the ushers. Just this way, they will direct you. They will have your details and welcome you. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI You can also download our messages on www.forshared.com Eternity Network International Duplicating the fullness of God's life on earth Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, Oh, shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 hallelujah we have to hurry up there's a lot for us to do Hallelujah. Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go. Out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing, a snake. Out! Out of her, that devil of darkness. Now! Now! Now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out! Come out right now! Out! 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 Come out! Come out right now! Out of her! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out! Let her go! Out of her now! army rising up fire upon you now fire upon you go 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 out is showing me a very big fish like a whale this is what i'm seeing to break every chain break every chain now at the count of three you are leaving this lady never to return you know my voice one two three go Go right now out of her out of her now
lay your hands on her back. Out now. Now you're going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Madam, please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? You don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you look wait now. Just leave your know, you I'm talking to. Forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she do? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? Secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We are going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Out, out, out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. She's going to cough out something now. Take her outside. You believe that? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his, the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope to that. Hold my hands, Mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Come. Please come. Look at me, look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Since when? More than what? It will end this night. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands. Now devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. 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 Mental spirit. Out of her right now. 
The Lord is revealing something to me. It goes right now. Take her back to her seat and keep checking her. I'm seeing a woman. They diagnose you of fibroid. Please, let's hurry up. You came here. It's part of your prayer, your list. Not a young lady, a woman. We need to end it right now. We need to end it right now. A dark woman, you are putting her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. It would disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold. Thank you, Jesus. Fibroid, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now. And let her return with testimonies. Out of her! Now! You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it, 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 it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You are going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you, and you are leaving. Now in the name of Jesus. Just keep your hands on her. How can a young man like this be so oppressed? Please lay your hands on him. Let me pray for him. Now. Let him go. Now. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Shekata there's no hiding there's no hiding go 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 see many of you let me explain to you what is happening it is not about the people some of them is the families that they represent this is the whole family being set free it's not even about the person are you hearing what i'm saying The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is it a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. You had an accident. How long? July. It's July. And from then you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But it didn't, didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be it's supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they, did they try to work on it for you? And it has, you cannot work without this thing. Completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you? With all your heart. This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. 
right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks, weeks literally, it will be but as a sign, you'll be able to walk right now without this. Just leave him. Please clear this pathway. Brother, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, look at me. Lift your leg. Start lifting your leg. Go ahead. Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, relief. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Look at this. Come on. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at. Look at. Look at. Look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He could not do this. Look at. Look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Jesus, a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. Hallelujah. A mighty miracle has happened here. Someone, your hand is bent. It's bent. Check it now. Check it. You could not bend it. Please, God just showed me. It will surprise you. Run out right now. It's a big miracle. Somebody's hand. You could not bend it very well. The Lord is threatening it right now. Right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. The Lord is threatening it right now. Look at this. What couldn't you do? You could not lift it before. You could not lift it. He couldn't lift it because he was born deformed. Look at what God is doing. Now put it down, lift it up. Put it down, lift it up. Look, see, see the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at the power of the Holy You know this is dead. Look at what is happening to him. Look at this. Can you see his hands shaking? Look at this. Look at what God is doing. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. Okay, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. Lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put, just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks, it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. 
right now right now right now right now hallelujah peptic ulcer it's time to wave bye bye to it lift up your hands peptic ulcer we are going to start ministering now instant miracles will begin to happen pastor jakes is here we'll verify them and have some ah daddy can i talk to you sir i'm seeing stroke this is what the lord is showing me the devil wants to bring stroke from here i'm seeing it completely paralyzed this is what the lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring you believe me can i pray for you please hold my hands that devil of stroke let him go right now by the power of the holy ghost that stroke will not come we command that you are free in the name of jesus christ come god is visiting your family not just you your family hold my hands both of them look at me can you shout shout jesus as loud as you can go ahead hallelujah peptic ulcer lift your hands please listen we are going to start praying right now instant miracles will start happening hallelujah where are your family members please come mama where is your first son don't point the picture I, i'm seeing where is he what is he doing nothing is moving in this family we must break the hands of that huh? who has a child in your family my third he fell in a child i'm seeing a child uh third but my immediate elder sister we're going to pray because okay this is the child you see give god praise see the baby this is the baby Down. Having, my second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? The person has run away. Eh? Just leave them. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now whatever spirit has taken her out of this place she returns now in the name of jesus wherever she is she returns now back to this place i'm going to pray for you ma things will change in a dramatic way your family you believe that visit mama in the name of jesus christ i bring you a visitation from god together with all the members of your family i lay my hands every terminal disease in your family goes right now who is this i'm going to pray for you hold my hands the power of god will come upon you captivity ends now out. let this lady go free now the fire of the holy ghost right now in the name of jesus i curse that devil of infirmity in the name of the lord jesus christ be free be free right now hallelujah
Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands, please. Now I'm going to pray for you. Pastor Jake, sir. Um, where, where do we do it now? Okay, maybe we'll create. Once we begin to minister, as the Lord touches you, check yourself. We want to take some testimonies. Okay, this side. This side. Pastor Jakes will be there. Pastor Williams too is there. Please, we we'll only announce verified miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. All, sir, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at me. The fire of God is coming upon you, Dora. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take this now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, any miracle right now. Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command also, some of you will feel like fire. Just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Also, be healed now. This lady has also. God is healing her. This lady has also. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. At the count of three, also be healed. One, two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of ulcer. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle. Just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers... As in, there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants, there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm seeing in the spirit. At the count of three, that plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt, a female usher. As soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One, two, three. Out of her. Come out! Out right now! Take it! Be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They call a woman Mama Embu. Mama Embu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. It's somebody's relative. Mama Embu. Who is Mama Embu? You. Mama Embu, come. Do you? Where are the Embu? 
Your name is Mama Mbu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Mbu? These are the Mbu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. Please, somebody, can you collect the children? These children are sick. I see a plague of darkness upon their lives. He's crying. Sorry, oh boy. Are you seeing all these swellings on this child? This child, what you think is a skin infection, but this is a demonic thing. Huh? We must deal with it. Father, you reveal this. Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ. Life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah, hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today. Praying in tongues for hours. Mama, I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. name of Jesus Christ. Look, many things are happening here. Don't wait on, okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes, when I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned peptic ulcer, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone had to close to me outside, close to the gate, wouldn't have noticed it if you checked clearly. But now... So the pains are gone. Yeah. Completely gone. If you press it, no pains. Please come. Please come. Ensure press. Press her stomach very well. Any pain? No. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, just give Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Okay. Wow. I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you will do something and you won't get any result. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jakes is coming. Somebody, a mighty mighty deliverance here I tell you the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night please shout a big hallelujah my god wow a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady she said one of the nights she had a dream a man was pressing her and forcing her to eat are you following was pressing her, forcing her to eat. And since when Apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm 
relief. I'm feeling relief. <coughs> Are you just looking like that? <coughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate <coughs> Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall become one flesh but the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families but right now i said right now he said one more plague and pharaoh will let you go lift your hands lift your hands I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep, to sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances according to the word of the Lord. It will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I curse you. That spirit responsible for marital delay i open up your marital destiny now in the name of jesus i open up your marital destiny by the fire of the holy ghost i release you shake fire is burning in this place shake it make god to soto tete make break it Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity and your life partner has not come up men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come as if they are thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door right now be open in the name of jesus 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 fire fire is falling fire is forcing doors to open up fire is forcing doors Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here.
fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selina. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands and the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed, nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus, womb be open right now. Womb be open now. Mommy, return with your child. Return with your miracle baby. Baby girl, baby girl, look at me, madam. You are returning with a baby girl. The name of Jesus Christ. What the doctor said, God is changing it. Within now and the next two weeks, you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth. Let her go. Out! Now! Out! This is, I'm seeing a spirit holding her womb. Release her now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it. Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you're standing for somebody. Miracle babies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracle babies. Return with your testimonies. Hallelujah. Madam, go and return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house. It has reached Lintel level, but nothing more again. This has been for years. Who is that? The Lord is showing me something. Please. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Wait. Uh -uh. I will know if you are the one. All of you look at me. The power of God will come upon one person. That is the person. But I'm going to pray for you for coming out. No problem. Don't worry. Even if you are seated, I just want to minister directly. All of you look at me. Lord, you gave me a sign. Right now, whoever that person is, let the fire of God come in a mighty way. Now! I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact. Every demonic thing keeping that building as I lay my hands on you I tell you finance will come from everywhere Hallelujah 
Koshata lakata preke de balarabash. Rakata preke te. Building projects, building projects. God is visiting in the name of Jesus. Supernatural testimonies. Some of you before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. The hand of the Lord will bring resources. Come madam. You came out for building. But what God is going to do is more than building. You are a very good woman. Hold on. Where is your child? They are at home. Three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year. Wait, madam. Let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family. I've not even touched financial issues. Number two, number two, this is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do, yo? I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see you. This woman is a very good woman. Very good. She say amen. A very good woman. You can know you are good. Some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said, I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You are a businessman. You do not even know. But you are a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? You are, you are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We'll come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it up, katapaladaba. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't need Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side outside please please don't miss it god answers prayers here yeah.
Look at how many people are coming for sickness. You see how the devil is a is a is a is a liar. Welfare. Can I get a cup of water, please? So I can drink. You will be healed. I give you an assurance. One last plague and Pharaoh will let you go this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how much the space is. Listen. Something's changing. Something. See his glory. Celebrate for one minute. walk back to your seat with that sickness as I look at you the Lord is revealing people's cases I see ladies infections I see tumor lump in the breast God is touching this lady right now that is putting her hand on her face take it now hallelujah I'm seeing HIV I see a number of HIV here, hepatitis. There are men here that have all, some challenges, low sperm counts, infertility, whatever kind of nonsense. Some of you have a woman here, I'm seeing palpitations. Sometimes you gasp for breath. Who is that person? You, madam, God is visiting you. You're not the only person. Please make sure you write a request. This is not a ritual. Hezekiah took the prayer request and took it to the temple and dropped it before God. Hallelujah. Now, all you need, please, except if the, the ministers ask you what the situation is. Otherwise, just a touch. I tell you the truth. Just a touch. The worship team sang it. Just a touch. For some of you, it will be like magic. One moment is there. Another moment is gone. I'm seeing somebody that coughs and you cough out sputum sometimes like blood. Your throat is dry. Sometimes you cough out blood. SS, I'm seeing a number of SS. People who need genotype change. I'm sure you've been hearing the testimonies. You don't have to remain where you are. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are the great healer. As we pray for you, go back to your seat so that those who are outside can come. It's called a miracle service. Lord Jesus, you revealed mighty miracles to me in the visions that you showed. Let there be a mighty confirmation in the name of Jesus. Pastor Jakes, Pastor Williams. We are going to pray. Please, let's pray ourselves. Someone take here. Someone take there. Jake, you can start there. Pastor Williams here. As we lay hands on you, check. Do what you couldn't do. Return back if you need test. Sorry, we don't have a medical team yet to do instant tests for people. But then I want you to know you will return rejoicing. You will return rejoicing. Worship team, are you ready? You give us that song. Something's changing. Where is Sam? God is visiting men. The name of Jesus. Heal. Take it. Heal. Take it. Heal. Take it. As I pray for you. Heal. Take it now. Heal. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Heal. Whatever it is. Heal now. Lumps in the breast. Go, go, go. Love's go. Shaka, take a 
Bella Batakata. Go back and check yourself. Miracles are happening. Mama, heal in the name of Jesus. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Heal, heal. Infections are getting healed. It doesn't matter who touches you. Ushers, direct them, please. Ushers, direct them. Lay hands on you. Return to testimonies. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Take it now. Now. Miracles are happening. Mighty miracles are happening. What's wrong? Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Please, if if the miracle is for a child, before they get there, leave the child so that they don't jump the child. Please. Hallelujah. Continue. Praise. Heal right now. Take it. Heal. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Go back and check yourself. Take it now. Healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please, when they pray for you, go back to your seats. Shake it, break it in the bush. I bring you healing now, now, now. Please move forward, move forward, move forward. Don't worry, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Mommy, the Lord visits you right now. Leave her right now. Thou foul devil. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I bring you healing now. Daddy be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sign of high blood pressure. Go. Something's moving. Something's changing. Be healed now. Please speak the mercy of time. Just a touch, just a touch. Somebody's picture. You can leave the picture. I'll lay hands on it. I'll lay hands on the picture. Fire! Fire! Now, devil of darkness, it's time to go right now. Shekete le kotoba. Out! Out of her! Out! Out of her! Now! Fire upon you! Fire upon you! Fire upon you! Right now! As I lay hands on you, you'll be healed at once! At once! Something's moving! Something's changing! If you have a CD or something for job, lift it please! So that we lay hands on it. Something Lift it up. Let me pray. Something's changing. See it doesn't matter who lay like hands on you. It doesn't matter. Out. 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 Now. Come out of her. Out of her. 
Sheketeka, my great Tokosoba. Come out, out of her right now. Fire upon you, every part of your body. Fire right now. Fire, come out of her. Come out of her. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Please, this side you can go, Pastor Jets. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Healed right now. Be healed right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
How many of you remember I spoke and I said the lady who ran out with the mental disorder, this is how she has returned. The Bible says he's confirmed the words of his messengers. Because the Lord brought her here. Before you shout that Nago day again, we're going to cast that devil of darkness. Look at me. This night, one last plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Hold my hands. Hold my hands with the other hand. Look at me. Say, I am not mad. Say it, I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you heard her. We overcome them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Right now, that devil of madness. Go! No more madness. Sanity. Restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead.
spirit and I will send one last plague upon Pharaoh and upon the nation of Egypt after that he shall let you go we are going to pray for the request now and then I will speak over your life already mighty things are happening some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there hallelujah please everybody stand up pastor Williams pastor Jakes okay he's still praying for them quickly if you are yet to submit your prayer request do that quickly God answers prayers in this place pastor sir. listen please while you are standing I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say Lord you know what I wrote there you know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible. But you are saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible, do the impossible. Come on, pray. Lord, change stories. Thousands of requests all over the country, all around the world. My God. Change stories. Lord, 
Make sure you are praying. Lord, we lay hands. Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Pass. Let the angel of the Lord one more break. Let these testimonies come to order. Let this request come testimony. Request become testimonies. Become testimonies. Come on, say. Take go, go, break, go, break, go, go, break, go, 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 Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request and I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, he said, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord God of Israel, now arise, O oh Lord, would you come to your resting place, and the ark of your might, and let us rejoice. As we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you, it's happening to your members at home. Father, 
miracles will break out right now at the count of three i just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming i see it marriage is coming i see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek. someone wants to get married before december i see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the lord is going after them father you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh god i speak right now let every prayer request here and for those streaming online I change it to be testimonies now in the name of Jesus I speak to you I speak to you prayer request and that which is dead will hear the voice of God become testimonies and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus hallelujah Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I always consider this part to be the greatest part of the miracle service. He sent forth his word. I'm about to prophesy right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a mantle coming on my head. Please, everybody stand. Please, everybody stand. Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper please lift your hands everybody please as i speak i want you to believe it i want you to receive it while i pray the lord told me if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it <laughs> 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 
Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. Migraine headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV one and two in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be healed now. Every eye problem be gone now. Deafness in the ears go now. Any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke. I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray any devil that I said you will not see 2014 and I said your family members will not see I cast that devil in the name of Jesus Hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 hallelujah Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members I remove that embargo of this favor now 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 
Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Shake it, take it, take it, Be lifted now. Be lifted now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians. But you have struggled with habits. Masturbation. Pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life. Whether for you or for your loved ones. Right now I pray. That embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray. Whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west. I pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now. Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. In the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names, the Bible says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever you do, it prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here. Grow in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. Expand in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem, because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem, Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people. At the count of three, be released. One, two, three. Families be free.
families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus. those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray By the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Hallelujah. You will never be the same. Never be the same never ever be the same you will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid hallelujah now listen to me inside and outside please remain standing everybody many of you have come you have heard the word of the Lord you have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst and I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ the Bible says they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore I want to pray for you right now you have struggled Jesus Christ can give you rest both in this life and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to Jesus some of you have given your heart to the Lord but you just found out that you have derailed
many cares have taken his place and right now you are tired and you are saying lord let this be the beginning of a new time i want you to leave your seat i'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside god is speaking to you one appreciate them koinonia they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old two please run out leave your seat and come keep clapping what they have tonight there are lots of people outside god is speaking to you three no matter what you have done god can give you a new beginning no matter what you have done stop struggling there are still people sitting keep coming keep coming koinonia keep appreciating them hallelujah now those remaining join us quickly make sure you join us quickly join us quickly don't let any devil stop you join us quickly hallelujah the bible says for god so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son that if you will believe in him you will not perish but you will have him everlasting life i salute you for this great decision everyone who is truly born again made this decision now i want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision don't be emotional about it this is not a bible recitation this is a genuine decision that will begin your christian experience never forget this day for the rest of your life i'd like you to shout it very loud say after me lord jesus i am a sinner unable to help myself but this night i have heard your voice and i come to you save me help me i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from today i'm a new creation in christ i'm born again the spirit of god is at work in me my sins are forgiven i am a brand new man satan i denounce you and all your works from today i am a child of god forward ever backward never in the name of jesus christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones in the name of jesus christ preserve them by the power of your holy spirit let their salvation be genuine preserve them in the mighty name of jesus christ i break the power of sin over your life i break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you in the name of jesus you are free i declare you saved by the word of god begin a new christian experience in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now congratulations i salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now i'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you who we'll have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly if this is your first time inside and outside if this is your first time worshiping with us please leave your seat and come out here quickly i want to pray and prophesy over your life please no matter how far you are inside or outside leave your seat and come you must go with this final prophecy all first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you thank you for coming those who invited them may good things keep locating your life forever in the name of jesus keep clapping koinonia they are coming hallelujah thank you so much for coming mommy thank you my mommy is here hallelujah praise the lord
Now, please join us quickly if you are coming from outside. Join us quickly. This is the koinonia you've heard about. Hallelujah. God is doing mighty things in our midst. We're here every Friday. This was a special venue. Our regular venue is CGC. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. Never, never be the same. God will do more than you have bargained for. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray and prophesy upon your life. And I pray that the hand of God will come mightily upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy. I speak over your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. We bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom. We bless you with grace. We bless you. We bless you. Let everything work for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Return with testimonies. You will not need to tell men you came for koinonia. An anointing will go with you. What used to be a challenge for you, you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already. The Lord will go before you and grant you rest. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you from the depths of our hearts. Keep growing in the word of God. Hallelujah. I'd like you to follow the ushers. Just this way they will direct you. They will have your details and welcome you. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash koinonia underscore ENI You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Eternity Network International duplicating the fullness of God's life and earth Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 hallelujah we have to hurry up there's a lot for us to do Hallelujah. Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go. Out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing, a snake. Out! Out of her, that devil of darkness. Now! Now! Now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out! Come out right now! Out! 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 Come out! Come out right now! Out of her! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out! Let her go! Out of her now! An army rising up. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you. Go, 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 go. Out.
out of her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out now. There's no hiding. Out, out, out now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a very big fish like a whale. This is what I'm seeing. To break every chain. Break every chain. Now at the count of three, you are leaving this lady. Never to return. You know my voice. One. Two. Three. Go. Go right now. Out of her. Out of her now. Lay your hands on her back. Out now. Now you're going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Madam, please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? You don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you are. Look, wait now. Just let go. It's you I'm talking to. Forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? Secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We're going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Out, out, out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. She's going to cough out something now. Take her outside. You believe that? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. Mm. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his, the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope tonight. Hold my hands, Mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Come. 
Please come. Look at me, look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Wait now, calm down. Hold my hands. Since when? my hands now devil I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost let this girl go now 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 mental spirit out of her right now is revealing something to me it goes right now take her back to her seat and keep checking her I'm seeing a woman they diagnose you of fibroid please let's hurry up you came here it's part of your prayer your list not a young lady a woman we need to end it right now we need to end it right now a dark woman you are putting her tie her tie her tie, her tie, her tie. Come. It would disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold. Thank you, Jesus. Fibroid, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now and let her return with testimonies. Out of her now. You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You are going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shekata pakata lakatosa. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you, and you are living. Now, in the name of Jesus, just keep your hands on her. this be so oppressed please lay your hands on him let me pray for him now let him go now the fire of the holy ghost is against you there's no hiding there's no hiding go 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 see Many of you, let me explain to you what is happening. It is not about the people. Some of them is the families that they represent. This is the whole family being set free. It's not even about the person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is it a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. 
You had an accident. How long? July, 8th July. And from then, you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But you didn't heal. Didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be, is supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they, did they try to work on it for you? And it has, you cannot walk without this thing. Completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you? With all your heart. This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks, weeks literally, it will be, but as a sign, you'll be able to walk right now without this. Just leave him. Please clear this pathway. Brother, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, look at me. Lift your leg. Start lifting your leg. Go ahead. Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, relief. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Look at this. Come on, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at, look at, look at, look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this, look at this, look at this. He could not do this. Look at, look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this, look at this, look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The front door is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be perfected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. mighty miracle has happened here someone your hand is bent is bent check it now check it you could not bend it please god just showed me it will surprise you run out right now it's a big miracle somebody's hand you could not bend it very well the lord is straightening it right now right now right now right now right now right now the lord is straightening it right now look at this what couldn't you do you could not lift it before you could not lift it he couldn't lift it because he was born deformed look at what god is doing now put it down lift it up put it down lift it up look see see the power of the holy spirit look at the power of the holy you know this is dead look at what is happening to him look at this can you see his hands shaking look at this look at what god is doing look at what the holy ghost is doing Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. 
lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. It's time to wave bye-bye to it. Lift up your hands. Peptic ulcer. We are going to start ministering now. Instant miracles will begin to happen. Pastor Jax is here. We will verify them and have some. Ah. Daddy. Can I talk to you, sir? I'm seeing stroke. This is what the Lord is showing me. The devil wants to bring stroke from here. I'm seeing it completely paralyzed. This is what the Lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring. You believe me? Can I pray for you? Please hold my hands. That devil of stroke. Let him go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That stroke will not come. We command that you are free. Name of Jesus Christ. Come. God is visiting your family. Not just you, your family. Hold my hands. Both of them. Look at me. Can you shout? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. Jesus. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer, lift your hands. Please, listen. We are going to start praying right now. Instant miracles will start happening. Hallelujah. Where are your family members? Please come. Mama. Where is your first son? Point the picture. I, I'm seeing I mean, where is he? What is he doing? Nothing is moving in this family. We must break the hands of that. Huh? Who has a child in your family? My third boy. He fell. He a child, I'm seeing a child. Uh, third, but my immediate elder sister. We are going to pray because okay, this is the child. You see, give God praise. See the baby. This is the baby. <laughs> Madam. My second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? The person has run away. Eh? Just leave them. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now, whatever spirit has taken her out of this place, she returns now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is, she returns now back to this place. I'm going to pray for you, ma. Things will change 
in a dramatic way in your family. You believe that? Visit mama. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you a visitation from God together with all the members of your family. I lay my hands. Every terminal disease in your family goes right now. Who is this? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Now! Out! Let this lady go free now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now in the name of Jesus. I curse that devil of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands, please. Now I'm going to pray for you. Pastor Jexa. Um, where, where do we do it now? Okay, maybe we'll create. Once we begin to minister, as the Lord touches you, check yourself. We want to take some testimonies. Okay, this side. This side. Pastor Jex will be there. Pastor Williams too is there. Please, we we'll only announce verified miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. All, sir, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at me. The fire of God is coming upon you, Dora. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, any miracle right now, Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command ulcer. Some of you will feel like fire. Just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Ulcer, be healed now. This lady has ulcer. God is healing her. This lady has ulcer. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. At the count of three, ulcer be healed. One, two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of ulcer. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle. Just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers... As in, there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants, there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm seeing in the spirit. At the count of three, that plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt, a female usher. As soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One, two, three. Out of her. Come out! Out right now! 
I set you free right now from altars of darkness. Be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They call a woman Mama Embu. Mama Embu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. It's somebody's relative. Mama Embu. Who is Mama Embu? You? Mama Embu, come. Do you? Where are the Embu? Your name is Mama Embu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Embu? These are the Embu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. Please, somebody, can you collect the children? These children are sick. I see a plague of darkness upon their lives. He's crying. Sorry, oh boy. Are you seeing all these swellings on this child? This child, what you think is a skin infection, but this is a demonic thing. Huh? We must deal with it. Father, you reveal this. Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ. Life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over. Right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah. Hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today. Praying in tongues for hours. Mama. I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many things are happening here. Don't wait on... Okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes. When I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned Pepsi Oxa, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside close to the gate would have noticed it if you check clearly but now so the pains are gone yes. completely gone if you press it no pains please come please come and sure press press her stomach very well any pain no please put your hands together for the lord celebrate jesus hallelujah celebrate jesus come on just give jesus a big big clap of praise <laughs> Wow, I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you will do something and you won't get any result. Now, 
The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream, a man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her, forcing her to eat. And since when apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm relieved. I'm really relieved. Are you just looking like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, Therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they too shall become one flesh. But the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families. But right now, I said right now, he said one more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep, to sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances. According to the word of the Lord, it will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I curse you. That spirit responsible for marital delay. I open up your marital destiny now in the name of Jesus. I open up your marital destiny by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Shake it, 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 it. Fire is burning in this place. Shake it, 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 it. Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity and your life partner has not come up men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come and see their thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door Right now, be open in the name of Jesus. Be 
be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire is falling. Fire is forcing doors to open up. Fire is forcing doors. Sheke, 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 she break it. Me koto peke te she. Ma protos kose. Rakata kete bele koto. E break it sheke te. Sheke te 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 te. Mam break it te te kaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selena. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says, who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands. And the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed, nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus. Womb be open. Right now. Womb be open. Now. Mommy return with your child. Return with your miracle baby. Baby girl. Baby girl. Look at me madam. You are returning with a baby girl. The name of Jesus Christ. What the doctor said, God is changing it. Within now and the next two weeks, you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth. Let her go. Out. Now. Out. This is, I'm seeing a spirit holding her womb. Release her now. Now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, 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 Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you are standing for somebody, just stand. miracle babies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracle babies, return with your testimonies. Hallelujah. Madam, go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house. It has reached Lintel level, but nothing more again. This has been for years. Who is that? The Lord is showing me something. Please. Come. Look at me. Look at me. 
Wait, uh uh. I will know if you are the one. All of you look at me. The power of God will come upon one person. That is the person. But I'm going to pray for you for coming out. No problem. Don't worry, even if you are seated, I just want to minister directly. All of you look at me. Lord, you gave me a sign. Right now, whoever that person is, let the fire of God come in a mighty way. Now! I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact. Every demonic thing keeping that building, as I lay my hands on you, I tell you finance will come from everywhere. Shake it, take it. Maka protoko te brasha, mate kretos kopre, reke te kete, reke proso pros, reka tabali kapos, ma preke telekos, mam protos kopre kete, ko shata la kata preke de balarabash, rakata preke te, building projects, building projects, God is visiting in the name of Jesus, supernatural testimonies, some of you before the end of the year, before the end of the year, the hand of the Lord will bring resources. Come, madam. You came out for building, but what God is going to do is more than building. You are a very good woman. Hold on. Where is your child? They are at home. Three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year. Wait, madam. Let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family. I've not even touched financial issues. Number two. Number two. This is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do? Yo? I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see you, this woman is a very good woman. Very good. She say amen. A very good woman. You can know you are good. Some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You're a businessman. You do not even know. But you're a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? You are, you are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We'll come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it up. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't need Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. 
I saw a measuring tape and the Lord says it is the time for favor are you following me Lord confirm your word right now in the name of Jesus Christ your family will come with rejoicing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord please bring out your prayer request start passing it out while we address now if you are sick in your body please hear me any kind of sickness it's time for you to come out right now come out and line up here for healing any kind of sickness please come and line up here for healing while they do that ushers everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side outside please please don't miss it god answers prayers here look at how many people are coming for sickness you see how the devil is a is a is a is a liar welfare can i get a cup of water please so i can drink You will be healed i give you an assurance one last plague and pharaoh will let you go this night Are you hearing what I'm saying? dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye